All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x is equal to six. So obviously I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with five to the power of x is equal to six. And I'm actually gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log five to the power of x is equal to log six. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is the same thing as, I can actually move my exponent to the front, so it's gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log five to the power of x, and I can move my exponent x to the front here. So this is gonna equal x times log five, which is equal to log six. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by log five, because we obviously wanna isolate x. So, these two cancel out, and I'll have x is equal to log six over log five. Now, to solve this, we need the actual values of log six and log five. So if we plug those into the calculator, log six, this is equal to 0 0.7 seven, eight, one, five. So this is what log six equals and log five. This is equal to 0 0.69897. So if we plug these values in back into our equation here, we get X is equal to 0 0.77815 over 0 0.69897. And if we go ahead and divide these two, get x is equal to 1.1111. So this is my answer to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the, two, x to the power of two x plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. So I'm gonna first rewrite two x as x to the power of two to the power of x. So now I have this plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. And this is true because a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now, if this is true, then this means that this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m, meaning x to the power of two to the power of x, that's the same thing as x to the power of x to the power of two. Now I'm going to let x to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of two plus y is equal to 20. Now if I subtract 20 on both sides, I get y squared plus y minus 20 is equal to zero. So now to solve this, I'm gonna simply factor it. I can rewrite y here as negative 4y plus 5y. So now if I factor out, now if I factor by grouping, first we're gonna start with y squared minus 4y. If I factor out y, I get y times y minus four. And from 5y minus 20, if I factor out y, five, I get y minus four. So now I have y plus five times y minus four is equal to zero, meaning y is equal to negative five and four. So now we aren't done yet because remember how we set 
x to the power of x equal to y. So let's first start with let's first start with four here. So I have x to the power of x is equal to four. So we want four to be in the form x to the power of x, a number to the power of that same number. Well, four, this is the same thing as two squared. So I have two squared is equal to x to the power of x, meaning x is equal to two. Now for negative five, x to the power of x is equal to negative five. And for negative five, you can't actually put this in the form of a number to the power of that same number, meaning this is wrong. So my only solution to this problem is x equals two. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of two x to the power of six is equal to three. So I'm gonna first start by letting x to the power of six equal to a. So this means that x to the power of six times one over six, this is equal to a to the power of one over six. So now if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x to the power of six times one over six, that's one, so I have x to the power of one is equal to a to the power of one over six, meaning x is equal to a to the power of one over six. So now that we know that, I'm gonna replace x with a to the power of one over six. So now I have a to the power of one over six to the power of two times a to the power of one over six to the power of six, and this is equal to three. Now one over six and six, these two cancel out. So now I have a to the power of one over six to the power of two a, which is equal to three. Now, 2a over 6, that's the same thing as a over 3. So I have a to the power of a over 3 is equal to 3. Now, let's say... Now, we have to find... Let's say we say a is three. This means that a over three, that's one. So does three to the power of three over three, does this equal three? Well, three over three is one, so I have three to the power of one is equal to three, and three to the power of one is three. So I have three equals three, meaning a does equal three. So we had to solve that by slightly guessing but yeah, we got our solution of a equals three. So if a equals three, now remember how we set x equal to a to the power of one over six. So this means that three is equal to, or sorry, this means that three to the power of one over six is equal to x. So three to the power of one over six or also in the form six root of three, this is my value of x.